Repair Assistant is RX's intelligent analysis tool that looks at the audio and determines what, if any, processing may be needed. Starting with RX-10, it was implemented not only as a feature in the standalone version of RX, but also as a plugin that can be run from right within the DAW, making the use of Repair Assistant's automatic processing algorithms even easier and more efficient. If you watched the previous video, you saw how Repair Assistant works. You select from the four processing modes, voice, musical, percussion, or sound effects, and then hit Learn to tell Repair Assistant to analyze the audio. The plug-in version works exactly the same way. Once again, you select the processing mode and hit Learn. Learn works a little differently than the version in RX Standalone. In the Standalone application, Repair Assistant analyzes the entire file, but in the plugin, you play the audio in the DAW, Pick and it takes several seconds to analyze that portion the of the track. Once more, and I swore this time that's enough. But everything else is pretty much the same as in the standalone version. Playing back the audio will audition the processing, and of course, bypassing the plugin will let you AB against the original audio. Picked myself up from the pavement once more, and I swore this time that's enough. Once again, if you want to tweak the results, you can do it directly from the plugin window. Each process has a button to enable or disable it, and a depth control to increase or decrease the strength of that particular process. The ear button lets you solo the audio being repaired or removed to get a sense of whether the processing is being applied too heavily. If you hear too much regular audio in addition to the noise being removed, then it might be appropriate to back off on the depth of that process. Of course, you can't access the underlying module chain in the plug-in version of Repair Assistant. For that, you'd need to be an RX standalone. But you can use the DAW's rendering options to bounce the processed audio to a new file, if desired. Next up, the new text navigation feature.